Hi, I'm WGN-TV political analyst Paul Lisnick. I'm visiting with two victors of this recent election, one of whom created a great upset in the city. Joining me here in the newsroom, Amaya Pawar, the upset victor in the 47th Ward. And over from the 4th Ward, Will Burns, kind of the hand-picked candidate of Tony Preckwinkle, but did it on his own, letting people know what he's all about. Gentlemen, again, thanks for being with me. Lots of callers lined up, so let's go right to the phones. And let me start with Charles on the north side. Charles, welcome to Politics Tonight. You're on with our two aldermen-elect. Thanks, Paul, for taking my call. This question is for Mr. Amaya Paywar. Uh, May I live in your ward? And I was curious about, um, you know, the city council is full of strong personalities. People are very skillful in the game of politics. How do you think your personality will fit with respect to all of those people who are old school, and know the game, know how to get things done? And who would the alderman, what alderman would you reach out to first in terms of starting to build a relationship there? Yeah, great question. Yeah, I mean, you come in, you got Ed Burke, you got all these people been around. What are you going to do? You know, my background is emergency management, and during and after disaster, I have to deal with a lot of strong personalities. Are you predicting a disaster? Well, <laughs> I'm just well it's possible. But I mean, uh, you know, I have to deal with a lot of strong personalities. I've worked in government before, and uh, I imagine that, you know, my job is to build a consensus. My job is to build relationships with every alderman. Um, and, you know, that's what I'm planning on doing. In terms of uh, reaching out to the elder alderman, I'm willing to work with with every alderman in the city council. We may not agree on every issue, but, you know, uh, I think we can find some common ground to pass, you know, to pass some of the critical reforms needed in the city. And, you know, Amaya, if somebody says to you, look, son, I've been around for 30 plus years on this thing. Let me tell you how we do things mm -hmm. here. What's your reaction to something like that? Mm -hmm. You know, I, and I understand that, um, but I, I don't think we have a choice. There's a lot of critical decisions that we have to make as a city. Um, and, you know, that begins with structuring services equitably across all 50 wards. Uh, we, don't, we don't really have a choice. Uh, but to come together and operate as one city going forward. All right. Well, that turned out to be a caller from your ward. Let's uh, turn about as fair play. We've got Valerie. Uh, Valerie, she's from uh, the fourth ward, so I'm sure she has a question for Alderman-elect Will Burns. Valerie, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to ask um, uh, Alderman Burns, I, I want you to start serving the people of, of this, this ward, the fourth ward. I had to retire early. College grad, I was working for the federal government. But when it came to housing, and, of course, being single, not having a lot of money, people have kind of forgotten about people with disabilities. The mayor's office on disability, I was really, uh, you know, impressed to find out there was a program. But people don't put too much emphasis on it, and money is being taken away, and it's not fair. So when it comes to housing and, and uh, participating with the, with the community, you know, people who live here, the residents of uh, High Park, I want you to, you know, be real sensitive to people with disabilities. Yeah. Well, well, thank, thank you, Valerie, for your thank you, Valerie, for your question. And uh, I'm very sensitive to to people with disabilities and, and folks who have really struggled during the recession. Um, you know, one of the issues down in Springfield has been to fight for those programs to take care of the people who need the most amount of help. And uh, one of those issues, obviously, is supportive housing. And as alderman of the fourth ward, I will continue to support affordable housing in the ward, uh, making sure that uh, we have housing options for all folks, different ends of the economic um, spectrum. And uh, it's an issue that's important to me. People right. have to have a place to live. All right. Thank you, Will. Let's go back to the phones and get another call in here before break. We've got Jill from the north side. Jill, welcome to Politics Tonight. You're on with my alderman-elect guests. Hi. Thank you for taking my call. I uh, just wanted to congratulate both of these new aldermen, uh, and especially, actually, both of them. I, I'm very grateful that particularly Mr. Burns turned down the appointment and ran on his own with that. That is what we need in the city council. I wanted to talk a little bit about balance. I think that with some of the new members and some changes in the council, we have an opportunity to really have some pushback on the mayor. And like I do, did vote for Mayor Emanuel, but I really want to see a you know balance of power here. I think we've had uh, some pretty tough times, and I think that's one reason why this parking meter deal didn't look get looked at uh, any better. Because the smart people were, I don't know, not in the room or something. All I don't know. All right, Jill. Let's let's uh, we want to get answers into your comments. Thank you very much for that. Will Burns, let me start with you because you've just had to deal with a very powerful leader in terms of Mike Madigan uh, yeah. down in Springfield. How will that translate uh, as val to, as uh, uh, Jill says to a, a balance here in the city under <clears throat> Mayor Emanuel? The most important thing that it, that uh, any legislator can do is to ask questions. Uh, and I've been I, I was a staffer for a long time, and so I tried to get votes for the Senate President when I worked on staff and. It's very important as a legislator to ask questions and make sure you understand what you're voting on before you vote. And it means you need to take more time to talk to your constituents and read the 
ordinance or read the bill, then you should take the time to do that. And, you know, that's the importance of the legislative body, to serve as an independent check on the executive branch, and I take that job very seriously. All right, Amaya, let's get a quick comment from you, which, of course, as you know, the, the design of city council is weak mayor, strong city council. Hasn't been that way for 20 years, but, again, in Jill's comment on balance, what do you see? Well, I think it has to be a collaborative relationship between, uh, you know, the mayor's office, the fifth floor, and, and the city council. The city council is a legislative body, and that means that each alderman can uh, propose legislation that they believe in and work with the other city council members and, you know, push that through to so the, for the mayor's signature. But I think it's a two-way street. I don't think it has to be a combative relationship. It should be collaborative. By the way, uh, Amaya, you pledged to uh, cut your salary from the 110000 you're supposed to get to sixty. Yes. You're going to do that? Yes, I am. You also pledged to serve only two terms. A lot of people make pledges, and then after they do their terms, they go, yeah, well, I'm kind of having fun. So you're going to stick with that. Well, with the salary, you know, we're going to do, we're actually exploring that option. We, I know there's furlough days. We're going to try to put the money back in the community, so we're looking at that. Uh, but we will cut the salary. Um, and with the ter two terms, you know, I'm standing by that. Okay. You know, people run out of good ideas. Okay. Remember, TV video will come back and get you on that if you change your mind in the future. <laughs> <I know. laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, a little bit more with my guest, Alderman-elect Burns, Alderman-elect Pawar, right here on Politics. Paul Lisnick, I'm visiting with two Alderman-elect for the City Council, Alderman Will Burns for the 4th Ward over Tribute Tower, Alderman-elect uh, Amaya Pawar for the 47th Ward. Gentlemen, quick questions for you. Um, Alderman-elect Pawar, let's start with you. Number one agenda item, um, is it pensions? I mean, what do you see as the first thing you've got to deal with? It's the budget. You know, we can't even begin to talk the pensions until we pass a responsible budget. Uh, then that means we have to get everyone to the table. But before we do that, it's uh, looking at delivering services equitably and making services more efficient. All right. Are current pensions on the table for you? People, uh, current employees' pensions? No, I, I mean, I don't even think we can talk about that until we get um, the unions to the table. And they're not going to come to the table until, you know, we pass a budget All by... All right. Fair enough. Will yeah. Burns? Yeah, I, I, my politics are a little bit more local. I mean, we've, we've got some big economic development projects in the fourth ward that I'm very concerned about and making sure they go through so that our ward has a quality of life that people are looking forward to. All right. Gentlemen, if the Tribune were to come to you in the next couple of weeks and say, write me a headline, give us a headline, put your crystal ball thinking cap on, let me start here again in the newsroom, Amaya Pawar, what might that Tribune headline say if you were to write it? Wow, you want it? Okay. Uh, Alderman throws out first pitch on opening day. Alderman, say it again? Sorry? You know, it throws out first pitch on opening day. Oh, 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 throws out first pitch. Okay, very good. And Alderman Elect Burns, what does the headline say? Yeah, runoffs get ugly. Uh, you know, someone's going to get thrown through a window or a brick gets thrown or something. You, know, you will see some, uh, some hot tempers on it with the runoff election. All right. Unique thoughts. Gentlemen, thank you very much. My guest again, Alderman Elect Will Burns of the 4th District there and Alderman elect Amaya Pawar of the 47th Ward. Uh, sorry, I was thinking district when I saw you, Will. Anyway, thanks for being with me. Good luck Thank to you, you on Thank City you. Council. I'm Paul Listick. Join us every night at 6 o'clock for Politics Tonight. Good night.